Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Setup Day with a Real Engineer. We welcome back again Federico Turata and Exotern Racing Systems. This time we will dive directly into data analysis and we are going to see exactly what all these graphics means, what all these lines are all about and trying to use them to figure out the setup of the car and as a real driver and a real engineer will do on a real circuit also analyze where the driver is doing mistakes, where he's going well, where he can improve. We will use one of my laps uh, I was practicing in Zandvoort with the NASCAR Cup Series for the Euro NASCAR eSports Series and we will uh, compare them with another driver, Simon Pilot, which we thank uh, for giving us uh, all the data and uh, Simon is a driver that will actually compete for the first time in racing and he will do so in the NASCAR Wheelan Hero Series, so the real championship of the Hero NASCAR Esports Series and uh, this 2020 it's uh, his first season but he's very competitive in the simulator as well and uh, basically so far in the first two rounds of the season we were always quite off together we always managed to be posed in the first 60 drivers uh, eligible to compete in the event and we were driving around P10 to P25 among the 60 drivers so we are a bit uh, far more ahead than mid-pack uh, we are close to the front but not quite yet but is uh, surprisingly how uh, a similar lap time can result in two very different driving styles so stay tuned and uh, let's see if you can learn something more today Okay, hi guys, here we are doing the driver's uh, comparison. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we have done a driver's comparison and data analysis, uh, comparing two laps uh, from the same driver. So it was uh, Alex against himself. Uh, today we are in Zandvoort uh, and we are able to do a comparison between uh, uh, Alex that you see in green today with 142.1 uh, compared to Simon who is in red with a 141.7 okay so when you're in from an engineering point of view uh, when you are doing data analysis with a driver at the end of a session uh, the first things that you need to spot are the differences in driving style uh, that are bringing a gain or a loss of time uh, obviously, to uh, locate them easily, uh, you can see where you have the differences in colors uh, when you do the overlay. So, um, the first thing that comes to my sight is a different gear used at turn one. So, meanwhile, Alex is in uh, first gear. We have Simon that is holding second. And uh, the same basically is happening at turn six and at turn seven. Okay, this is the main spot. Uh, the other differences, you can see them in brake pressure, for example, here, um, and on steering input such as here or here, throttle application like here. So these are the things that you need to spot. Uh, these are uh, RPM, okay, engine RPM, uh, obviously because they have a different gear. Uh, I haven't said who is doing good and who is doing bad or whatsoever. I'm just spotting the differences. Okay, so that's a first sight when you open the data analysis. Second thing is to look at the delta timing. Okay, because even if you have a same lap time delivered by two drivers, uh, it doesn't mean uh, that there's no room for an improvement. So um, Simon, in this case, is uh, uh, close to four tenths quicker than Alex, but this doesn't mean that he's not interested in looking at some data analysis, because if we focus on just this first part of the lap, Alex is faster by a tenth and a half. Uh, and in this part here, from turn five uh, to turn six, basically Alex is gaining back time to him again. And at this point as well, Alex is gaining back time. So he's delivering a faster lap time in that sections compared to Simon. So if I was uh, uh, engineering Simon and I was between two sessions, 
I would focus on data analysis in those three spots. If I was working with, uh, with Alex, uh, you can see where, the, where in the lap Alex is losing time, such as this point, such as this point, and let me say this is the biggest one, okay, where he's stepping basically uh, from a tenth of loss, okay, up to something like half a second. So this is the biggest issue for Alex in this moment. Okay, so the delta timing is telling us where to dig our analysis according on which driver we are working with. So these are some initial tips uh, for, for a lab comparison. Um, let's proceed on with uh, the full analysis of these two labs. So I will be switching between uh, uh, Alex tips and Simon tips. So pointing out who is doing better or what's happening, uh, let me say not wrong, but that can be improved. So we can zoom in a little bit the lap and we start from turn one. Basically, Alex is faster in green because he is braking later. So he is uh, carrying uh, a bit more speed. You can see it through here. Okay, a bit more speed approaching uh, turn one. Um, meanwhile, Simon is trying to have a bit more apex speed. So that's the reason why he's gaining back time on Alex. So uh, on an ideal third driver that combines the driving techniques between Alex and Simon, so a lap time improvement, would be uh, the braking area of Alex and the mid speed of Simon. Okay, so immediately this is a lap time improvement. Uh, proceeding on, um, what we can spot easily basically is okay uh, as a consequence Simon of his the speed that he's carrying uh, through he has uh, a bit of a moment so here with the steering wheel he's dealing with it to control the car and as a consequence he's not able to go flat out on throttle so he's breaking the throttle to control the car uh, so proceeding on um, Alex is gaining time um, compared to Simon here because he's carrying more speed into turn two. So a tip for Simon would be try to carry a bit more speed into turn two. Uh, proceeding on uh, into turn three, let me say it's a, it's a draw because they are um, doing the same, uh, the same driving technique. Uh, the only difference I can see is in the braking shape here. Uh, which means that Alex is bringing much a bit more brake pressure and releasing immediately. Uh, meanwhile, um, Simon is applying less brake pressure but is bleeding off uh, uh, less quickly. Uh, proceeding on, after turn three, uh, Alex is losing uh, time that brings it till to turn four, uh, basically. And the reason why he's losing time through here uh, is because uh, of a steering input coming out through here. So basically is a different line that Simon is, is taking that is allowing him through here to be quicker in speed. You see the delta of speed through here compared the green line to the red line. Okay, so... Uh, that's the reason why. Uh, proceeding on, uh, let's go to turn five. Turn five. Uh, breaking point is the same, but again, uh, Alex has a different technique, so he's building up the pressure and then bleeding off uh, rather than delivering a triangular shape like Simon is doing that has an initial peak of pressure. And bleeding off. So this uh, is driving technique is up to the driver. To be honest, it's not is not causing uh, um, 
let me say, is not affecting the performance uh, in the lab time. Uh, so proceeding on, uh, as, a, as a consequence, as a matter of fact, you see that the, the delta timing is shifting by half a tenth, two a tenth, then back to half a tenth. So there's, there's no big uh, things uh, to point out uh, in terms uh, of performance compared to the two drivers. Uh, proceeding on, um, Alex is gaining back time compared to Simon here because he's carrying uh, more speed through here. So uh, Simon is braking slightly earlier, but well, it's coming off from the throttle. So Simon is braking the throttle earlier. Meanwhile, Alex is going more progressive and full throttle for a while. So he's building up speed while Simon is not. And uh, Simon is braking slightly earlier. Uh, meanwhile, Alex, obviously, as he is arriving a bit faster in the approach, he's applying a bit more brake pressure. So he gained back time on Simon. Out of this, uh, he's losing back some time because uh, he is slowing the car too much down. So you can see it here, mid speed. Uh, here, Alex uh, is slowing the car too much. So uh, uh, a suggestion to Alex would be apply less brake pressure into the approach of turn six. Uh, there's uh, another difference in line. You can see it through here. So they are taking two different lines with the steering wheel and Alex is dealing a bit with understeer. Meanwhile, Simon is not because he's holding a bit more straight line through here. Then, uh, proceeding on, we get to the point where Alex is losing the biggest amount of time in the lap. And let's find out the reason why. So uh, they are at this point, uh, there's just half a tenth, just half a tenth that is dividing Alex from Simon. So what's happening? Simon is able to go on throttle because of the line that he takes with the steering wheel. So he's able to go on power, uh, half the power, so partialized, uh, earlier than Alex and full throttle earlier than Alex. As a consequence, you see here with the speed that he builds up a, a bigger top speed. So we are here with close to two tenths in the delta timing. Uh, the second reason why of the loss of time is because Alex is braking earlier than Simon, so he is slowing more the car down and as a consequence he gets up to half a second, more than half a second in gap. And at this point, as he slowed the car down uh, a bit more than, than Simon, he's able to carry a bit more speed uh, through this chicane, so he's gaining a bit of time back, but as a consequence, he lost overall three tenths in the combination of this chicane. So, suggestion to Alex is to break later. Well, starting from here is to apply uh, the throttle earlier. So, take a different line, apply earlier the throttle to build up more speed. Break later with a better shape. So, don't go back with that higher pressure in the second part of the braking and carry a bit more speed in the first right-hander of the chicane, uh, sorry, left-hander. And at this point, uh, proceeding on, we are at three tenths and a half of delta timing. So uh, let's see if by the end of the lap there is something else uh, to point out from the delta timing basically there is uh, not much to say uh, apart that Alex is carrying a bit more uh, speed into turn uh, 10 so he's gaining back a bit of time and uh, but he's carrying less speed through here because obviously he's getting on a different line compared to Simon. So 
um, the combination of the last turn through here is resulting as a draw between the two drivers so that there's not much to point out between the two um, let me say that going back to the full lap okay uh, to do a recap of uh, the tips of the two drivers uh, for Simon he needs to improve uh, uh, the breaking point of turn one uh, Alex has to uh, carry more speed into turn one okay at this point uh, uh, Simon needs to uh, carry a bit more speed into turn five okay and to build up a bit more speed into up the straight between turn five and turn six and the other tip for Alex is the throttle application after turn seven and the breaking point at turn eight so these are the tips for the two drivers in the lap comparison so what we can understand from this data analysis is that having two drivers at 142.1 and the other one at 141.7 uh, we can make an easy calculation that uh, Alex was faster by a tenth and a half compared to Simon so if we can improve overall two tenths the lap time of Simon combining the two driving styles we have an ideal lap time of a 41.5 wow guys that was a lot if you stayed in the video so long thank you very much until this point because you have gone through all the data analysis a real engineer will actually do and uh, those are all key aspects that are really really important to understand as a driver and as an engineer or just as a driver if you're driving in the simulator and you set up the car yourself how you can really take out some small details and a few tens here and there that at the end of the lap will actually gain you a lot of time sometimes we think that we already reached our limit and we cannot progress any further and then a quick look into data maybe comparing with a friend or your teammate or another driver and will actually show how close you were to do something way better but you were just not able to see it yourself so thank you very much for watching thank you Exoton Racing System for giving us such uh, a big uh, experience and tool to our advantage thank you Simon for sharing the data and I hope that uh, all of you guys it doesn't matter what car you are driving if in reality or in a real circuit uh, in which simulator you are driving I hope that you manage to learn something more and use all these tools to your advantage I will put the links in the description of uh, what we are we use to watch the data Basically, we download it for free and you, uh, it's a program that is free to download and to use. You can donate something if you want to keep the development going uh, forward. And then with the data, it will automatically do uh, download and save the files of your laps in iRacing in the special folder inside the iRacing under the telemetry folder. And with those folder, you can open them in the engineering program Motec and uh, watch your data.